Hi, Macy here. Welcome back to Code to Create. In this video, actually, I am going to show you how to make this cardboard robot. Some of you follow me on Instagram, already saw the example. The technology is based on radio frequency IDs. It's called RFIDs. It sounds very fancy, but they actually just the door fobs we're using to get into our office and our buildings. And initially I was thinking, why do I need to make another unlock or door example since we are using it every day. So I figured I will use the RFID readers to read different tags and his eyebrows gonna have different impressions. So in this video, I will show you how to make it. Let's get it started. I'm going to show you everything we need for this cardboard bot Adreno project. And I am using the Adreno Mega. I think it is a very versatile board. It's a bit big, but you know, it has everything. It has a lot more communication options like MISO, MOSI, SCK, SS. If you're looking for the board to get for Adreno, I think Adreno Mega is a way to go. You can just reuse it for multiple projects. And of course, we need a cable from the Adreno to the computer. And then since we're talking about the Adreno, I recommend you get a little breadboard of course, you can do it without a breadboard, but having a breadboard really helps us to debug and understand how the actual circuit works. Then I usually use this 9 volt battery for most of my Adreno project. Adreno Mega takes up to 12 volts, so this battery would be fine. And I also always keep a battery snaps in my Maker kit. This is just for easy plugging here. Then we can just power our Arduino without like complication of hook it up to a computer or something. And then of course we need the RFID. They're radio frequency IDs. This the this one we need to solder them. Luckily I got one that I did not need to solder. And then usually the kit comes with two IDs. One, it's a card version. It's what we use at work a lot. And another one is a FOB version, which is pretty common for building access. Then, of course, we need two servo motors. I always reuse mine, and they come with like a lot of accessories. I'm gonna using those two little guys for the eyebrows. Of course, we need jumper wires. You can just use regular wires, but you know, it's just easy for prototyping. I used eight male to male jumper wires, and I used seven male to female jumper wires. Definitely, I got a lot of papers. It's a cardboard box from just items I received in the mail, and I think all of us have tissue papers from Christmas, and little two furry thingy, we usually get them for wrapping as well. And I have a little bit like foam, just to keep the servo motor stable when they are in the box. So they're not going to be moving around. It's like a space to keep them stable. Then of course, crafting papers and a marker for drawing. And I have this tiny screwdriver. It's actually just for like drawing eyebrows. <laughs> Last but not least, we of course need scissors and tapes. Like first step is to actually test out our RFID and then we're gonna test our server motors Then we're gonna do the fun part of just crafting the robot. Now we are going to connect the radio frequency tech readers to the Arduino. Here I have my female to male jumper wires. Let's connect the first one, the SDA goes to the digital pin 9. We can change it later on if we need this pin for other purposes. Okay, let's continue. Let's go to the SCK. 
push it all the way in SCK connect your pin 52 49 50 51 52 it's actually written as SCK on my board on other board like you know and nano is pin 13 next one is the MOSI which is 51 and the same it's and it is pin digital pin 11 or you know and nano let's go M O M I S O which is a 50 let's go last but not least 30.3 volts of course goes to 30.3 volts and then ground goes to the ground later on we can share the ground with other components but for this purposes we're just going to use the ground on the board find the ground pin here done now we're connected and let's up for the code like so now I'm on my Mac I have the example code ready and then let's select tool port I already have it selected it shows Audrino Mega on my computer and the board I'm using is Audrino Mega so make sure you're selecting the correct board you're using and make sure the port is selected properly and then we're just gonna upload the code since I already established a serial communication, which is nice 600, let's click on this serial monitor icon. Then we can track and see what exactly happening on our board. So here we go. We're gonna tap, tap a tag. Those are the card IDs. I did add another trace to see which card I prefer. I just have a couple. The frequencies are unique for different devices. I think for most Arduino, they're just using the same frequency. That's why we can read different tags. But for security reason, in real life, those frequencies are, and ID numbers are going to be unique and hard to read. So now our RFID actually works. Let's continue to test our servo motors. Now we are going to connect the servo motors. Since we have two servo motors for both eyebrows, we're gonna use the breadboard to share some pins. So here, let's make it happen. We first need to share the ground. The ground pin, there are two ground pins. I'm just gonna use one here. On this the other spare ground pin and just plug it in here which means all the pins on this vertical lines are connected and I'm gonna share the five volts to power all the servo motors so here again we're gonna see the five volts pins five volts to another side which means all of those lines are powered there are five volts here it comes our beautiful servo motor which is very commonly used in a lot of projects. And they're colored. So basically, the brown is the ground, the red is the power, and the orange is the signal. Since we are going to use the pin 2 for it, let's first connect for it and find the, the digital pin 2 on our board. And then we're gonna need a ground, ground, connecting to the ground, like so. And then we're gonna connect the power to the power. Here, you can see the server moved a little bit. That's because it detects the power. Let's run the example code. Servo Motors actually has the built-in examples already. We can just simply click on File, 
examples. Choose servo. We are going to use swip example. So you can see here it is used pinai as well, which is a little bit conflicted with uh, our RFID. We're gonna use the digital pin chu for this purposes. So we're gonna save file, save as. I will just save it as servo chu. This is just for testing purposes. Just make sure we will understand how servo motor works. I'm gonna click save and I'm gonna change this attach night to two and then save it. And then tools, board, Arduino, Mega, ADK, and then port. It's the USB port I have, which says Arduino, Mega, ADK as well. Then just upload the code. So you can hear it. Let's attach a little arm to it. Okay, so it is moving. That's basically the eyebrow motion. What we need to do is actually install this servo motor on the carbo robot, and then we can calibrate the angles and how the eyebrow is going to move. Then let's attach the other servo motor. Sorry, I'm not perfectly color coded, but you get what I mean. We're just gonna do the same. This time we're gonna use the pin three for the other servo motor. So ground, which is brown to ground. And the red one, which is a power, connect to the five volt, which I jumped on the board here, like so. Then I'm gonna do the next one, which is a signal. I said it was pin three. Which is here. We can just simply test it with the same code, but change the pin ID to three to make sure the both eyebrows are working. Now comes to the fun part. I created two holes around his eyebrow areas. Look okay, at the back. I just pretty much had a sharp hole and then just squeezed it over to make it through and make sure all the servo motors like match here firmly. As I mentioned earlier, those little two forms are very, very critical to secure the servo motors and preventing itself from rotating. So let me show you one and put this little piece of phone here. I will just put everything back. Actually, one thing I realized is the cardboard box itself needs to be doable enough, but not too thick because I initially picked another cardboard. I was gonna show everyone in this demo. However, it was just too hard to cut it through and just be careful when you're doing it at home. Make sure you cut your hole on somewhere safe. You're not gonna stab anywhere else. And here's another one here. Just put it in with this little piece of foam. Put it in. We basically just want to make sure everything can like stay securely and not moving within it. And I choose to use tape, you can use glue gun. It just, I always reuse my materials. I want to make sure they're still in a good shape after I use them. I will just cut some strips of tapes. Make sure it's thin enough. You could totally use glue gun for it. Again, I always recycle my materials, so I want to make sure I can use them multiple times. So here we have it. Stick the bra on and tape it over. I know it's not the prettiest because it's like if you have like shiny eyebrows. Then 
squeeze his eyebrows in, push. Okay, one eyebrow's done. I really need to cut his hairband, but you know what? It's cooler when you have a long hairband, right? <laughs> okay, let's do the other one. I think I put the eyebrows too close, but we can fix it. Okay, so here we go, another eyebrow. I think this one is too... We're gonna touch each other? Maybe not. We will see how it goes. So eyebrows installed. And now of course I drew his face. Here we can be creative. And you can change anything you want. It's all your choices. So let's put it on. We're gonna do calibration. Let's plug in our Adreno. And see it from the coding part. So here is my example. I created a test script based on the SWIP example. So basically I have two server motors, one is a left eyebrow, another one is right eyebrow, and then I have this if statement, if the robot likes it or not, and then I attach two server motors and started the serial communication. Here doing the loop, if in the, the serial monitor I entered L and then it's gonna think it's liking it, if I entered H. It's gonna dislike it later on. We're gonna put card reader code here, and then if the motor likes it, it's gonna go zero. The left eyebrow, left eyebrow is gonna go to zero. The right eyebrow is gonna go to 180 degrees because they are parallel to each other, so their rotation are completely opposite. So you should try to calibrate it based on your robot. So here is a code, it's very simple. Let me plug in. This. Oh, they start moving. That's just tools, board, Adreno Mega, port. Let's connect the USB and then click upload. Oh, my eyebrow failed. Fix. I think glue would totally help, but you know what? Let's see how it goes. Let's open the serial monitor. Let's type L. Whoa, it's dislike. And let's type H. Like. So see, this means the servo motor works. You can adjust the eyebrows like so. See my like eyebrow just way too low. Let's just take it out. You can actually even move it to a more reasonable angle, right? So let's try again. L. See? Then H. Great. Then we can integrate our card reader code. I have my example here. So here is my final code. I already wrote down the card ID, which we could get it based on our last example. And we start a card reader. And then if the card reader is the first card and then we gonna make this robot like certain things if the card id is the second card we're gonna make it dislike certain things and the rotation is the same and then we clear the card id at the end and we add a delay so let's upload this code rfid you don't really need to touch it if it's within certain range this should be fine Whoa, I dislike it so much, the eyebrow fails. I will secure it later on, but we can continue this test. Also, I made a watermelon because it's a big card and I just put, stick the, the other tag within it. Let's try this one. Oh, it likes it. So the whole setup works. You can add more cards if you have more cards around. Of course, you can make different shapes of fruit. Like, I just happen to have different color. Of papers and the, the other white card is really big so I had to make something big so I definitely not against any fruit or vegetables it just what came to my mind and I just made it let's unplug this from our computer since the code is already uploaded here comes the battery snaps so instead of powering this 
with our computer, we can power it with our battery snaps. And this way we can stick everything at the back of the robot. And plugging this power. Oh, things working, right? Everything still works as before. We can test it one more time. Apple, dislike. Watermelon, likes. So now we're gonna put all the goodies fit into this cardboard box. It took me a while to fit everything in. Basically everything just like taped on. I made sure this RFID it's sticked right next to the wall or the back and then just pretty much tossed everything in the box. I know it's not perfect but whatever it works. We could figure out a better structure for inside the box but for this purposes let's just let it go. Let's just stick his eyebrow back Okay, make sure this time he's not too angry. Okay, like so. And fit everything into the cardboard box. Fix his hair. Now, it's the moment of truth. Ah, uh, dislike. And like. Oh, here we go. We have done this cardboard robot box. And of course, I did not come up with this idea all by myself. I just googled around about servo motor projects and then saw this amazing cardboard project which inspired me to work on this RFID Arduino cardboard box. And I hope you enjoyed this cardboard and I would love to see your cardboard box. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, please give me thumbs up so I know this is kind of content you guys love to see. And if you're interested in what I'm working on every day, you actually can follow me on my Instagram, which is called Mei Si Kuang. And you can follow me on Twitter as well. It's at Mei Si Kuang as well. If you finish the project, please do my tutorials. You can add me, tag me. I would love to see the finished product. And see you next video. Bye for now.